Hi, my name is Donna Ivey and I am the Academic and Creative Director of the Future Work Skills Academy, a global agile adaptive coalition of skills experts in subjects pertaining to the future of work. I also founded this organisation in 2016 and I have shifting perspectives of what the future of work means, but these are underpinned by some fairly static views about how a reimagining of work could unlock human potential. In 2011, the Institute for the Future published a report called Future Work Skills 2020, and in it they identified skills that would be essential for engagement and productivity in a workplace significantly changed through a variety of influences and externalities. And these included aging populations, mobility, globalization, and climate change. One thing that they did not forecast was the potential that a global pandemic could stop the world in its tracks and change work as we knew it forever. In the report, they identified 10 skills for the future of work in a volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous world. It's these skills that form the foundation of the Academy's programs. What resonates with me about this list above others is the singular focus on humans. Yes, not machines. Of course, human machine interaction is included, but the bulk of the skills identified are uniquely human. And this to me reaffirmed that the future of work is human. But this has not always been the case. As we left the 20th century, data indicated that human beings were highly disengaged and depressed at work by significant numbers. And when I say significant, the Gartner Global Employee Engagement Survey consistently reported that 20% of the global workforce is engaged at work. That's a huge productivity problem just there. And then the World Health Organization reported that over 350 million people are suffering from depression. And if we unpack that particular report, you can see that there are two significant influences on people's mental health, and they are factors relating to work. In my view, these very human conditions have significant roots in the models of work and learning that have their genesis in the 19th and 20th centuries. Put simply, the design of work was more about industrial measures of productivity than about unlocking human potential. So you can imagine that rather than viewing disruption in a negative light, I see it as an opportunity for creative destruction to reimagine work with a human-centered design and to once again unlock the wonder of human creativity, of empathy, of collaboration and cross-cultural cooperation to forge a new path for humans. And that's the promise of the Academy. We look forward to walking this new path with you.